Hello, everyone, and welcome to the, today's session about how to simplify the design of your workflows, and not just in ITSM, also in non-IT processes. And my name is Ed Perez. I'm a senior business solution consultant for Axial Systems. So let's get started. On today's agenda, we're going to walk through how you can easily manage all your ITIL 4 workflows. Areas that we'll cover is the ITIL 4 template library that's available in Assist. This makes lives a lot easier for our customers where they don't have to build these workflows from scratch, but actually take advantage of the template library that we provide. We'll also show how you can manage active processes. A lot of solutions out there in the market today don't provide this functionality where clients can easily manage active processes and not this not disturb the processes within their library. We'll also show how we can uh, address business logic configuration, and this allows for high flexibility for your all organizations. And we wouldn't be complete if we didn't have drag and drop configuration. We're going to dive into the demo, of course, and then we're going to end with some Q&A. Now, remember, hold all your questions till the end and we'll address them as they come in. So touching on that drag and drop workflow design, Assist combines this drag and drop workflow design to simplify the integration. This enables organizations to uh, take advantage of cross-platform orchestration. With this visual workflow designer that's very similar to like Visio, it allows you to model your delivery processes then tying together all the tasks, which would previously be manually performed by multiple system administrators. But with Assist, we provide also simple connector-based integrations. That way, it gives you a centralized control over all your applications, your databases, hardware, and more. So when we talk about that template library, we, we've renamed our, our workflows and even added new workflows to address some of the ITIL 4 workflows. So as you can see on the right, we have our template library. This template library addresses things like templates for change control, contract management, incident management, knowledge management, and more. These workflows can be extended without any coding involved. You can quickly and easily deploy these required workflows to meet your organization's needs and requirements. And of course, manage those active workflows. A lot of times you're going to notice that you're going to have a, a request come in and you're going to get a, a phone call or an email from upper management saying that request is, that was just submitted, we need to modify the workflow behind it. Maybe I need to add additional steps or maybe some approval processes that aren't really defined in the out-of-the-box workflow. How can I do that? How quickly and easily can I modify these workflows? And you'll see in our demonstration that with the Assist Dynamic Workflow Engine, we make this as easy as possible for all our customers. And of course, business logic. So when you have tasks or let's say approvals or stages defined for your workflow, how easy is it to apply business logic to it? Well, as you can see in the screenshot to the right, it's very easy. There's no messy formulas that are required. We provide simple dropdowns to speed the entire process generation. So today, you can create your logic in a matter of seconds. And of course, drag and drop. With our workflow designer, any stage, authorization, sub-processes, and tasks can be easily relocated. These new components can also be introduced to a workflow with a simple drag and drop activity. Some of the benefits that you'll see with this workflow designer is the ability to accelerate delivery, reduce operational costs, eliminate human error, and more. So what we're going to do now is we're going to actually go into demo.
So what you're looking at right now is our workflow designer. We call it our process designer because it manages all the processes within an organization. As you can see to the left is our process or our template process library. This gets introduced to all the new implementations. And here we give you samples. So if you're addressing change control, you'll have a set of, of templates that you can take advantage of. Even non-IT, such as HR. So you'll see some examples like things like onboarding, offboarding. The beauty of all these workflows is that they're easily modifiable. So at any point in time, I can just go to a workflow, such as you see here, and this is a pre-approved changed. You can see all the steps, manager approval, the responses. And it doesn't have to be just a yes or no. You can add additional responses to it. You have release readiness, another stage, and you have some forking off into other processes like a standard change, emergency change, and more. So for example, if I'm looking at one particular change, as we see here in the workflow for a pre-approved change, I might have a stage called JIRA update. Well, in this JIRA update, I actually have a task depicted by the little circle to the lower right. If I select that stage, expand my right pane, I now have access to that task. If I click on the task itself and click on the edit task, this is where I start introducing that simple business logic, the category. I can apply impact, urgency, the service department that's responsible for addressing this task. I can even assign it to a particular user. The beauty of Assist is if I'm unfamiliar with the, let's say the analysts that support the application support group, I have my drop down search window and it'll give me a list of all those users. Select the user I want to address this task. That quick, that easy, I assign the users. I can even assign the services or even the individual CIs that might be part of this. I can modify my subscription, my summary, all with simple edits. And these edits are rich text editors that I can even add links. I can add additional images, whatever I need to fully qualify the description for this task. Once again, simplify business logic. Let's take this one step further. What if I need to add additional steps to this workflow? Well, how easy is that with Assist? Well, you can create one from scratch, but why reinvent the wheel? Let's take advantage of that template process library. So I can go to any of my uh, workflows out of the box, maybe go to an existing one. And let's say I need to add maybe an authorization. And that authorization, I'd like to add that before I go into the deploy state. So I can just select the authorization and drag that to the area I want to add it to. And that's presented to you with the, um, the circles that are a light blue and the plus sign. Release my mouse, that quick, that easy, I now have added an authorization. What if I want to reverse this? What if I change my mind? I really don't need this. Well, select the authorization and just hit the garbage can. And that quick, that easy, I've removed it. So you can see here how easy it is to use the Assist Process Designer. Let's go to the next stage, right? What if I want to maybe review a workflow for an active request? Well, here's an active request. It's a change request and it's a pre-approved change. So as I see on the upper section of the, of the left-hand panel, there's the request number. 
If I expand that request and the workflow beneath it, the first stage is manager approval. I see the approval number here, and it's depicted in the graphical view with a green display around that approval. Now, just like before, I can even modify this request. So in the same scenario, maybe I want to add some additional steps. Why reinvent the wheel? Let's go ahead and grab something from an existing workflow. Maybe I want to add another manager approval before it goes into a, nor a standard change. Drag and drop once again to that area. So you can see that with Assist, it's simplified and easy for our end users. And if I wanted to, I can even respond to the approval right from the workflow window here. So with Assist, we make all the steps easy for all the users. So let's go back to our presentation for a second. So we covered that workflow designer demonstration for you. At this point, I'd like to open up for some questions and answers. If you have any questions, please submit them in the question box. Once again, thank you for your time.